Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more popper slivers. And we are up against Dr. Spinya. And we've got a pretty flooded freaking hand. But I will keep because we do have a refill. Um, it's not very powerful, but let's see what happens. You know, we're on the draw. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it'll be good. Dr. Spinya, goblins, but he's playing with the forest. Arbor elves. Is this elves? I haven't seen elves in a minute. All right, all right. We're getting places. It's fine. That's fine. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Utopia Sprawl. This is just ramp. This is just ramp. Rebound. Okay. Alright. This is ramp, but we can compete with this. We compete pretty dang nicely. Let's just keep throwing stuff at them. Um, yeah, I don't want to offer the trade on the elephant yet. We're about to outpower them. Especially with another Sidewinder coming down next turn. Just go BAM! Predatory Sidewinder. Swing. Go, 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 go. Rebound on the trumpeting Herdalo. What you got? Come on. You gonna do it? Do they even have an option? How does this thing work? Can't read it. Ah, the beginning of my cast is covered without paint. Yeah, just hit okay. What are you doing? Just hit okay. Just hit okay. Double flanking is gonna make all these one ones. Fan freaking tastic, man. Ooh, yeah. Make him tap his Arbor Elf this turn and just... There we go. All right. Create a 3-3. Three, three. Let's go. Tap, 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 tap. Swinging in. Sure. I'll take three. I don't care. Come on. Doctor. Doctor, sir. Come on. I said I don't want to block. Just... Go for it. There you go. Do something else? Or are you still waiting on some more mana? If he's got no play here, it's going to be bad for him. What you think? What you got in your hand? All right, he's tapping. He's tip tappity. I don't care. That's fine. Can you do anything else with your Eldrazi's? No. We get a thriving Heath. We're not going to play that right now. No wire because we're getting in. Double flanking, baby. What you want? What you want? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm so sorry you have to learn like this. It's very unfortunate. Oh! What? Okay, we're back. All right. We're back. Wow, that was weird. I've never had Magic the Gathering crash on me before. We're still like, looks like we're a little bit lagged out still. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, we still are. All right, we're good. We're good. We are good. Perfect. That was a little sketch, huh? Never had that happen before. Okay. Shake that off. Lost two of their creatures. Just to try to tr kill my lord. They didn't realize the Sidewinder's stacked. It's a big hefty boy, though. Uh, if it is kicked, destroy target non-creature permanence. So you can kill my land? Yeah, alright, sure. I don't care that much. Hmm. 
Now, are you going to attack? Hmm. Decisions. Come on. Hmm, I get it. I'll take it. Give me something good. That's... Hmm. I think I'm in a good spot anyway, so I think I'm going to drop a Thriving Heath and refill with the Winding Way. Let's just get our mana set back up a little bit better. We'll wait on the Winding Way. Let's attack first. They may just want to chump block a few things here. Tough spot for them. Two cards in hand, too. Wonder if they got the Ulamog. Probably, right? You don't play ramp without Ulamog. <clears throat> flank, flank. Keeping his Eldrazi's around. He must want to do something. All right, let's uh, refill. Give me something good. Oh, I like all of that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. So I think we might just... We got our mana right. As long as they don't destroy Thriving Heath. Well, I think we'll just play the Ash Barons as it is. Throw down a Sentinel and a Predatory. Yep. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. They can get an Ulamog. But then they just, like, die. Because they tap, tap. Destroy, I mean. Yeah, they can't. They can't win from here. I, you know, all they can really do is chump block for a few turns. If they sacrifice these spawns, it's over. Yep, there goes one. There goes two. Ulamog, there we go. Called it. What'd I say? It's not going to help you at all. Sure. Uh, yep, let's just uh, play this out. You know what? I could just do two lords, seal the deal that way. Yeah, that makes more sense, right? Can only block two, man. Can only block two. All right, cool. To the sideboard. <sighs> Do I really care about anything that they're doing? Not really. I mean, I can swift response just for like an Ulamog in case they do ramp them pretty quickly. I guess that's about it. I don't really need Hunter against them. I don't think. No, I'd say it's still worth bringing in. Cut a winding, cut a sentinel. Sure. It's nice to just get rid of the Ulamog. You know, sacrifice two things and then just kill it. Whatever, you know. Let's run it back, though, Dr. Spinner. Yeah, let's see of how uh, how crazy of a start they can get here on this, this turn, this game. They had a good hand, though. I mean, that seems like a pretty... Freaking reasonable hand for mono green ramp. Honestly, we just have we just have the stuff. We have the gusto. This is a cool little uh, card though, the destroy permanent one. I don't think I've seen that one. That's a nice little way to kind of try to mana screw us. Who knows? It might have worked out better for him in another situation, but.
he likes to take his time on figuring out if he can keep this hand or not. Guys, I missed the booster cracking video last week, last Sunday. Try not to beat myself up about it. I was a very busy boy that weekend. Uh, but I do want to try to make sure we have one this week. So if you guys like the booster crackings, stay tuned because we're opening up the rest of the uh, Echoes of the New World box. I would like to keep this. <laughs> Go ham on some poisonous, but we just don't have a way to play out anything else. On the draw. Eh, it's rough. Cricket, I ain't scared of this deck. Let's see what our draw is. It's gonna take them a couple turns to get set up. They're already going Arbor Elf, though. I mean, good for them. That's nice. That's a good backup. Hopefully it doesn't screw us like uh, it did Monday. But we got another draw. I think I'm still gonna just go Viverlint here. Into, they got the rebound, destroy, target, land. If that land was a snow land to gain one life. Now you're going land destruction on me? Interesting. But I'm going double poisonous on you. Well, I think it's going to become concerning if they destroy this land. If they destroy this land and don't give us an opportunity to search for more with Winding Way, that might be a problem. That might be a problem. Looks like they're gonna too. I swear. Don't you do it. Okay. Alright. can deal with that. Give me a land. Land it up. Lead the stampede. Okay. Okay. Well, I think it's that time where I want to find the lands that we need, especially because they're showing all that nonsense. Gosh dang it, man. Our luck this week. Our luck this week with frickin' winding ways has been atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. And look at that. We lost... We lost all playables again. This is the same exact repeat as Monday. Viverlint Muscle. Unreal. Unreal. How, how does that happen twice in a row? Like, same exact thing. Whew. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay. Nest invader. All right. Oh, that is pretty stinky. Take three. Not quite worried yet. I'm just like pretty pissed. We got the hand to really screw them too. If we can just get the lands we need. This one was this one was more sketchy than last week though. Like this keep was more sketchy than last week's keep, I feel like. And not by much either. This is still a totally reasonable hand to keep, considering how much we usually draw into land. But MTGO gods are not on our side this week, for sure. Uh, but I would say last week we had a way better shot because we had the two one Monday, we had a way better shot because we had the two winding ways. Uh, but now we're just, you know, we are just getting out of luck, but at least we're getting a playable, you know, can't complain about that. I think I will just play him out and uh, pass the turn. I don't want to dump more lands. Unless, you know, we're just not drawing them. I, I want to get another draw to find another land before I dump a lead the stampede. That's all I'm saying. But if we can get a planes, I'd be totally down to just like sidewinder, lead the stampede, start swinging in. Because they're probably going to swing here and here. And then we can at least swing in with flanking and just start getting in there for more poisonous. I mean, we can hit them for six poisonous unless they start blocking with all their Eldrazi spawns. And we're still not like close to dead or anything. 
five mana. What do we got here? Is this that other thing? Six, seven, nope, we got a new Lamont. All right, now it's, now we're in some bad shape. All right. Get in there with those, sure. Okay. Hmm. Huh, okay. I can hit them for six. Oh, this is rough. Hit them for four poisonous, right? What am I annihilating next turn? I guess I have to annihilate a land. I don't think I want to go down two lands. I mean, I could, but I don't think I want to. All right, we're gonna pass. We're gonna pass. If they get over cocky here, Maybe we can sneak some stuff in, but uh, we are close to dead. We can triple block the Ulamog if we really want. Not ideal, though. Not ideal. Uh, acidic Moss. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I see you. Yeah, what are we getting in with here? I would just keep back the nest invader, right? This is hard. It's too bad we can't just kill him next turn. So I need to figure out a way to make this beneficial. Take three, go to nine. Clear their board a bit. What am I going to annihilate? Ooh, it's rough, man. And go here. I don't know if that's the best move, honestly. So now it comes... Now we come down to, do we want to... Take out their Ulamog and try to get set back up a little bit. We can't take everything. There's nothing we can really do next turn. So I guess... Man, I don't know. Um, it's too bad we just can't kill him. So close. Take eight. No, I think if we want the game to continue, we're gonna have to block like this. 
we'll be left with the 1-1 one, one Viverlint. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, game's pretty much over. But we're going to play it out, see what happens. Goodbye, team. There's not much we can do. I mean, what do we need? We need a land. We just need a plains to get something else on the battlefield. That's about it. Cocky little Arbor Elf tap. All right, I see you. Um, yeah, well, we'll pass. They can't kill us yet, but it's, it's not looking good. Kozlex Predator. Yeah, that's going to speed up the clock quite a bit. Okay. Game three. Let's do this. Do I want Prismatic for what they're bringing? I wonder. How about I just drop a Hunter and bring back in a Sentinel? Let's run it back. We'll run it back, we'll run it back. Oh, it's a rough one. <clears throat> if only we weren't mana screwed. If only. Yes. Okay. We are no longer mana screwed. We shall keep. And Thriving Grove, calling red, pass the turn. Wild growth, popping it off. That's fine. We're gonna go ahead and... Yeah, we'll just play, just play Sentinel. He's a decent beefy boy at least. And we can start swinging in next turn. We'll drop a heart and a sidewinder. Start getting in for some damage that way. Three mana, four. Uh, what costs three mana? Is the rebound a three mana one? Elephant. That's so annoying, man. All right, that that dicks our whole plan. Um, but you know, we get a predatory. Let's get in there. We'll recover. We'll recover. That does suck, though. It does suck. They're ramping all the way across the sky. What you got for me? Mother fricker. All right, they picked the wrong land though. We can get down a Sidewinder, that's good. Oh, 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 oh. they kind of picked the right one, honestly. <laughs> We're still getting in there. Five damage is no joke. Ah. Uh, all right, well, we just need one planes. We can pop off. We can really pop off. Nest Invader. They got some blockers. I don't care about them, though. I gotta deal with my flanking for a bit. What else you got in your hand? That's it? That's it, boys. Boys and girls. Or did I speak too soon? Two cards in hand. I think they're duds. They are. All right, let's go. Another gem hide. Not gonna help us here. Um, nope, nothing we can do except get on in. Flanking Vigilance and a Lord. It's gonna do the job. We're getting it done. Block away. 
This tells me he doesn't have an Ulamog either if he's not saving this Eldrazi spawn. I mean, I get it. But, like, if he doesn't have Eldrazi, he should just block with the Nest Evader, take the rest. But, uh, if this is the way he's doing it, so be it. This is your consequence for destroying my lands! And trying to mana screw me when the game is already mana screwing me. Oh, they just have enough for an Ulamog. Well, frick you too. Okay. That's awesome. Oh, what a beautiful day. All right. Yeah, let's get in. Hmm. Hold up. Do I want to lead the stampede? And get him down. I have two mana. Two mana. Um, yeah. No, no. We're gonna do lead the stampede. I want my handful for next turn. We'll get rid of our lands at this point. What a beautiful lead the stampede that is. Oh my gosh. You're wrecked. You're absolutely wrecked. Go ahead. Hit me for eight. Bring it. Bring it! I don't care. Draw a card. You're absolutely wrecked. Hey, heart sliver, man. Ooh, the gem hide heart sliver. Mm, I love it. Mm, love it. Hit me for eight. I don't need my lands anymore. Everything's got haste. Get in there. Bye. See you later. Easy decisions. Easy decisions. All right. Okay, so, let's start trading up here. Uh, we're gonna go, hold up. Oh, well he just is dead. How's he not? He's just dead, all right. Here I'm getting ready to like, just drop my whole board, but he's just like, he just conceded himself basically, and I didn't realize it. I uh, wonder if he's conceding right now. The only way he's not dead is if he has some kind of fog. I don't know if he brought that in against me or not. Um, but that's... That'll be it. It'll be interesting if he did. But we have the Vigilance. I'm overthinking it, and then I forget, like, Oh, I shouldn't attack him because all my guys are going to tap. No, nope, we have Vigilance. I'm just forgetting. Sorry. Sometimes I lose focus. I get excited because I see this, this little setup here. And I go, ooh... Yum. I want to get my whole hand out this turn. Well, it's like, no, just kill him. That's all you got to do. All right, we win. Bam. Model green ramp. Uh, yeah. Pretty good matchup. Game two, man. I can't believe that happened again. Leave a like on the video if you thought that was ridiculous. Because that was. And make sure to subscribe if you enjoy Popper Slivers. Because we've got more coming next week. And stay tuned for some more Call of Duty and some booster crackings like I said on Sunday. I'm not going to skip it this week, I swear. And we will see you guys in the next video.